No, we oh, in at it. We have got through where the gate the there. Person, it doesn't matter now because the person just opened the gate. <laughs> That's what we were calling for. Arrived, arrived. Don't be dramatic. <laughs> we made it, guys. Safely arrived. Persia's first time. My 15th. Got it. Oh, air. Air. Cold air. Praise oh, God. So now we're heading to the apartment. Oh, praise God. Oh. There's people in the pool out there, guys. I'm being so nosy, so extra. Oh, man, the camera's focusing on the um thing and not on the pool. But there's people in the pool. She saw the camera. in the courtyard. Woo! So we're taking a little adventure now. I wanted to check out some thrift stores because I wasn't able to the last time. Okay guys, so we just got back from Savers. That's where we went for thrifting. And I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So this is the top I found. And it's just this um, floral print. I saw this less than five bucks. Cute. First, And it's just these mom shorts. The next thing I found were these shorts. And it's just these denim shorts here. And these are like a light blue wash. $3.49. That's a deal right there. It's just a plain white tee. Can't go wrong with plain white tees. You can never have too many of those. It's just this dress, this little tear dress. I don't know what's in store for the rest of the day. You made it to a mile. You walked a mile. Today is 4th of July, 2020, and we walked a mile. <laughs> Mama and son are like, that's what you want to do. Did they get down there? <laughs> Jeez, my We're leaving your first show. We're leaving your bye. Bye. <laughs> get in the car. Hurry. We picked the perfect time because there's like 10,000 people here now. So we finished with the trail and now we are at the Amish market.
was a kid in a candy store, literally. A lot. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, that's it. No, that's enough. Put it down. We're not even near yet. Huh? Oh my god. So, this is not the best lighting. It's a new day. Today is Sunday and honestly, I'm gonna keep it real if you couldn't already tell. I came out here without a plan filming wise because I find that I've been putting too much pressure and too much planning into a vlog. And a vlog for me is more lifestyle, more raw, more authentic at its, like, at its best when you don't really plan it out. back into the house um, made an outfit change second outfit change of the day well actually third so we found parking and now we are heading to the harbor on Independence Day, which was literally the night before this, a crowd pulled down the Columbus statue, rolled it into the harbor, and what you see now is my brother and his girlfriend going up to the, what used to be where this, the monument slash statue was placed, and soon after there was a open protest of fellow peaceful protesters. It was nice while it lasted in a park. area by the little hotel over there the water looks so nice y'all i wish i could go in this one but i can't even. they got a nice high rise there nice downtown area lizards reptile all the way down to the bottom we have the sharks don't worry i have my mask it's just very hot and there's nobody around except for us oh there goes the benches on the other side there's a lot going on back here. There's some cafes, scooters. Oh, they got the whole clan. Oh, oh, and they're not stopping. It's a, it's a scooter tour. They're doing a demonstration because you know Black Lives Matter. It's so emotional right now. And we are here on this wonderful day to give strength and power to our, our people for over 500 years. We as native, as African, as Puerto Rican, as many peoples of the world have been unfortunate inheritors or inheritors of Columbus. <clears throat> and we have to decolonize ourselves and wash everything away 
to get back to who we are as indigenous people, as human beings. It's our last, actually no, it's not our last anything. <laughs> Yesterday was our last full day. Today, we are heading off and actually, I don't have my phone on me. In about 30 minutes, we need to get on the road. So, I'm saying goodbye until the next time when I don't know. Oh, she said bye guys. Okay, it's not that bad. It's humid, but it's not that bad. We are leaving with more than we came with. I don't know how it became that way. Struggling with this darn suitcase. Next week on CK's Life, New York has entered into phase three, which means outside is opening up even more. I go on a mini vacation with my boyfriend, as well as have some fun in the sun at Jones Beach with my best friend. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.